In this video, we will cover two methods of how to calibrate your fertilizer injector. The first method is the EC method. This method uses a properly calibrated electrical conductivity or EC meter, a small amount of full strength fertilizer, and a small amount of clear water from your tap. To get the full strength fertilizer solution, start by filling a bucket with fertilizer solution from the end of the hose. Be sure to allow at least one gallon of full strength fertilizer to fill the bucket. Then using a small plastic cup, dip some of the full strength fertilizer solution out of the large bucket. Use your EC meter to check the EC of the full strength fertilizer solution. In this case, it is 1.74 millisiemens per centimeter. Be sure to wash off the probe with distilled water. We now need to refer to the label of the fertilizer we are using. In this case, it is a 15415. When we take a look closer at the label, we see a table that gives directions for mixing, but also the EC values for different concentrations of fertilizer. We have mixed our fertilizer and set our injector to give us 200 parts per million nitrogen. So if we look at the last row on the table labeled 200 parts per million and follow it over to the EC value column, we see that we should get a value of 1.52 millimoles or millisiemens per centimeter. But we found the EC to be 1.74. We didn't account for the EC of the tap water. The EC of the tap water is found to be 0.25 millisiemens per centimeter. Therefore, we subtract 0.25 from 1.74 to give us 1.49 millisiemens. This is pretty close to the 1.52 millisiemens that we're looking for. In most cases, being within two to three hundredths of a millisiemen is sufficient. Our second method is the flow method. At the core of the flow method is this equation. Diluted volume divided by stock volume equals injector ratio. We start with filling a graduated cylinder to a known volume with the concentrated stock solution. In this case, the cylinder is filled with 200 milliliters of stock solution. Then we place the lead from the injector into the graduated cylinder. Next fill a bucket with fertilizer solution from the end of the hose to a known volume. I've marked this bucket so I know when I've filled it with 16 liters of water. The larger volume of water that you will use will give you more accurate results, but in most cases, using between 4 and 5 gallons of water works well. Once the bucket is filled to 16 liters, the water is turned off and the lead from the injector is removed from the graduated cylinder. We now look at how much concentrate is left in the graduated cylinder. There are 118 milliliters left, which means to fill our bucket to 16 liters, we used 82 milliliters of concentrate. We now need to use our calculator. The calculation has to be done in milliliters, so we need to convert 16 liters into milliliters by multiplying by 1000 to get 16,000 milliliters. Then divide 16,000 by 82, the number of milliliters of concentrate it took to get 16 liters of solution. To show this again, we divided 16,000 by 82 to give us a little over 195. We anticipated our injector to be set at 1 to 200. This tells us that it is actually set at 1 to 195. For most cases, if we are within 1 to 2%, we are okay. And in this instance, we are within that range. If our injector is off by too much using either method, we will have to adjust the ratio. Injectors made by different manufacturers will be adjusted differently. But with our injector shown here, we simply twist this portion of the injector one way or the other to adjust the ratio up or down. Thanks for watching this video on calibrating your fertilizer injector. If you'd like written directions for this, please visit our website at www.nhfloriculture.com and look under the plant nutrition tab.